Bangkok Harbor. I believe we did. Good morning, everyone. This is your good old neighbor, Nick Cake Spider Verse, and Frozen 2 fans, that's one here. Today, I am doing my very first review of 2024, which is another the new movie starting on, uh, starting on my boy, Bradley Cooper, which is another than uh, my mushroom, I think. Mushroom, I must have said. Today, I'm doing my movie review of Mushroom, Kimetio of 2023. So, you guys, just tell the story about Bradley Cooper. And honestly, guys, it's like the it's like a bright pick movie about Bly Cooper become Mashro. I must have said. Anyway, guys, that's based the plot of the movie. And for now on, in my review, I will explain about the plot and make the and make this review more unique or amazing. And so, hey guys, and speaking of that, honestly, guys, I was really looking forward to it because I was I was just watching movie based on Golden Globe movie, and don't worry, I will watch the whole of all. Maybe I maybe I can get it on DVD on each, so maybe we'll see. Anyway, guys, so after I watched the trailer, this film could have potential to be a really great and a very good Oscar worthy movie because this film is like the Oscar because this film is all by Oscar because this film is gonna get nominated um um, um at the Oscars. But after you watch this film, and after I watch this film, and my personal opinion, and honestly, guys, I already know, I already know some of the YouTube. I mean, um, some of the um, some of the people that who is a huge fan of this movie will bash my opinion. Guys, don't get me wrong. This film is not a bad film, and I guess said. But after I watched the movie called Maestro, I guess said this film was kind of boring. Yeah, this film was kind of boring. This film was kind of meh. Because honestly, guys, this film is out of doubt. Is one of the is one of the most weakest film out of the Go to Grub nomination. With all the Go to Grub nomination, and now you nominate this film, like this film is nothing special, honestly. Like honestly, uh, like honestly, guys, we see that type of type of bot a black pick movie like a million, like a million, million, million times, like Elvis, Blonde, or or etc. Whatever you call it. Anyway, guys, and at least Blonde and Elvis, at least they took the black pick movie and took it a really good movie. And you can say whatever you want about Michael Jackson, this is me. But at least, at least they took, at least they took that film, make a black pick movie, and they turn it into like a really great way. And you can say whatever you want about Rainy, um. Um, man, what's her, man, what is her name is? Honestly, guys, she's saying that, um, 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 when, um, when to dance somebody. Totally forgot. Anyway, guys, um, uh, honestly, guys, my, um, my show is honestly one of my, um, one of my, I'm sorry. Honestly, guys, I wouldn't say it's my least favorite, but I think it's the weakest. Anyway. Anyway, guys, I have some positive I to say about this film. The cinematography looks beautiful. Look outstanding masterpiece. But on uh on the guys, I was just saying masterpiece for the cinematography, but this film is not a masterpiece. And on the guys, and Bradley Cooper did a wonderful job with his performance. But it's not as and yeah sure, um and yeah sure uh, even it's not as good as him as Rocket from the Guardian of the Galaxy. But at least at least he did I'm sorry, at least he gave one of his great performances that he did in this film anyway. And anyway, guys, and anyway, uh, anyway, and the production looks really good. Looks really good, really good. Like black and white, really good. And anyway, um, and anyway, guys, and anyway, um, Andy Rath positive I could give for this film, which is better than the score. The score is absolutely amazing and outstanding. But that's it. That's it. Honestly, the rest of the film was completely mad. The story, honestly, guys, the story was kind of the same old stuff like you see in the Black Pig movie. Because, honestly, guys, in the concept, the concept looks pretty cool. Honestly, guys, we, uh, we have never seen a movie about Mashro because the guys are about a musical and using a stick, which I'm um, probably, I forgot what it's called. You know what, what's called the stick with you, gentlemen. Anyway, he used the stick to get the music started, right? Do, 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 do. Yeah, this film could have potential. To be one of my favorite film out of the Golden Globe movie, but I'm very sorry. I think Oppenheimer is 100 times better Golden Globe movie than Maestro. And yes, you can say whatever you want about Oppenheimer, which I like. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is 
Oppenheimer is one of my third favorite film of all time. And that's the main reason why I'm putting that movie in my end 12 for now on. Anyway, guys, and just because it called Spider-Verse and Frozen 2, it didn't mean it will be not all about Oppenheimer. Because I was planning to go to talk about... Um, honestly, I was planning to go to name my YouTube channel called Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Wish, and all behind what fans did as one. But that was completely a mouthful, so I just did it with Spider-Verse and Frozen 2, and it, and replaced the two. I just put the two I to this, right? One, two, which just makes sense because the title called Frozen 2. So, yeah. And anyway, guys, and anyway, on in the ending, the ending was kind of disappointed, kind of disappointed. Anyway, guys, I was really disappointed how this end this film. On the guy, uh, on the guy, they could, they could have ended this film like the Oppenheimer way, but on the guy, the ending was kind of weak. On the guys, on the guy who grew me Oppenheimer ending is way, is way better. I mean, way one hundred times better than my show ending. So over, guys, my show. Honestly, guys, there's nothing to say about this film because I have nothing to say about this really meh movie. Honestly, guys, yeah, sure, this film is not the worst movie of 2023. Honestly, guys, I always, um, honestly, guys, I always, um, on guys, I gotta say, but I um I wish I could watch this film any day. Then River Moon Part One, A Child of Fire. Sorry, Zack Snyder, I did not like your film called River Moon Part One, A Child of Fire. So on the guy, I'm losing hope for Part Two. On the guy, where to go, Netflix? Where to go? Now you, now you completely destroy Zack Snyder universe, and now you're making the same thing like Batman. Um, I mean Batman v Superman. Can I say Batman Woman? Because Batman Woman is not on Netflix. You done it. So um so over guys, my show is a very math movie. And yeah, sure, this film has a beautiful cinematography and a beautiful production. And Bradley Cooper did a wonderful job with his performance and the score was absolutely amazing. But the story is kinda of mad and on the guy and I don't feel a chemistry with my show and the one main girl character. And the main girl character was kinda of mad. It's always one of the mad characters in this film. Anyway, and the ending was kinda of disappointing. On the guy, I was really hoping the ending would be like Alpheimer. Which Oppenheimer and any make my tear in my eyes. And I saw you guys, and on the guys, and yeah, sure, it's not my number one best indie for a film. The best indie of the film, which is not in Across the Spider Verse. On the guys, if you want to watch a way better Golden Girl movie, just go watch Across the Spider Verse. Go watch Oppenheimer and go watch Disney Wish. Those films are way better and way more entertaining and way more Oscar worthy than Mastro. And if I see Disney Wish get snubbed at the Oscar, it will be like Frozen 2 snub all over again, which I do not want to see that. Sorry guys, I'm giving my show on the game. Um, sorry, on the main guys. I was just trying to do my rating. Anyway, guys, and my my rating is gonna be a wide difference. It's gonna be a wide difference in my last year. And yeah, sure, I put all a bunch of cross spider verse character, but I uh, on the guy that was way back then. I was I was a huge major fan of cross spider verse. I like a cross spider verse, but I just want to give some film a a a chance. Sorry guys, I'm giving my show a 5 out of 10. It's a meth movie. You're gonna get a Maverick with his disappointing pictures. Because honestly, guys, I like Maverick. Maverick. But that is a puppet pictures to put him put uh to put uh, put him to be disappointed of this film. Because I was very disappointed of this film. This film is gonna get five out of ten. It's a meth movie. I wanna say it's bad, but it's meh. So, yeah, that was my movie review of my show. Tell me about your opinion on this film on the comments section below. Stay tuned for my rant on my thought on the Mickey Mouse trap, which is another, oh my god, this is another movie. I'm out of characters, 22 horror movies. I am getting sick of tired of seeing a kid characters to turn into a horror movies. And all the guys are doing too. And doing two people is doing something to the black and white Mickey Mouse. So, all the guys, I might do my own thing. All the guys, now he screwed me. Now he... Now you excuse me, I'm gonna make a comic book based on the based on the short, which is the very first Mickey Mouse short ever, which thank you Disney, thank you so much that I can have it and I can have it for my Hicks animation and I will put that with the different colors. With the different colors and for my one G, I'll put the and I'll put that as a one G Mickey Mouse. So you guys and no you cannot use the colorful Mickey Mouse because they own that. The only Mickey Mouse you can own, which is another than the black and white, which I'm going to own that, and you're going to see that in my intro for my movie and my Hicks animation in the future. So, you guys, tell me, tell me which is your favorite Netflix film. And, yeah, sure, Netflix is not the best year for Netflix. Honestly, guys, it's not as good as last year from 2022. But, anyway, honestly, guys, just because they did it, and didn't mean Netflix would be a bad, bad studio. Like, come on, this is the same studio. Um, why come on, this is the same stream, uh, streaming service they give us to one of the worst movies of 2020, which is another Nikuti. And I cannot believe why the movie is going to turn five years old in 2025. 
I'm gonna lose over this generation if that happened. So hey guys, subscribe, comment, share the video with your family, and stay tuned for my thought on the Mickey Mouse trap, which I'm not watching that film, but I'm gonna do a win of it without even watching it. Without even giving it a chance, because we already know we already know that you're taking your childhood character and turning into a horror movies. First you do it winning the pool, second you did it to baby, and third you're doing for Peter Pan and now you're doing for Mickey Mouse. What next? SpongeBob on and Elsa? Better not do it. Honestly, guys, if they do SpongeBob horror movies, honestly, guys, Nick William will be sued. Big, I mean, we'll, we'll sue that whole movie of SpongeBob any day. So, hey guys, I'll see you next time, and so long, and yadios, YouTube, yadios.